we understand that you will be, or anyone participating in the Teaching Fellows Program is living in Eagle Landing, which is uh, an awesome residence hall. It's an apartment style living. Um, each apartment in the building has um, three or four students that will live in it. Um, it varies between three and four. The apartment is fully furnished, includes furniture and a comfortable living area. It has a full-size kitchen that has all the appliances, a full-size refrigerator, oven, stove, everything like that. Um, there are bed frames, desks, and dressers in all of the bedrooms as well. Each apartment has two bathrooms, so each resident only has to share a bathroom with one other person, which is excellent, believe me. Um, there are also several common areas in Eagle Landing for the residents to use, which are um, fantastic as well. There's a game room that has a couple TVs, uh, big screen TVs, mind you, and a few pool tables in it. Um, there's laundry facilities on every floor. Um, so you don't, you only have to share with everyone else that's on your floor. Um, there's a multi-purpose room. That's a lot of times where the RAs will put on programs and things like that. So it's a place you can spend time with other residents in the building. There's study lounges on every floor. So if you need to get away from your noisy roommates, there's somewhere you can go. Um, and there's also classrooms, which I understand are used a lot of times by the teaching fellow students that are also in the building. I think it's pretty sweet. <laughs> I like apartment style. When I was living undergrad, it gives you a sense of having your own personal space, but then also you can walk out the door and see many residents from the same area and have conversations with them. One thing I did forget to mention, too, is that Eagle Landing also has its own mailboxes and address system. Oh, yeah, yeah. It is not the same as the rest of the campus, so the will, students will have their own mailbox there. Um, and just kind of to go to the next thing with transitioning into college, I know that some of the uh, beginning questions are what to be bring, um, what items should be not are not allowed on our on our campus, that type of thing. Most of them can be found on our website, um, but I can already throw out a few examples. Um, I like to start more abstractly with bringing open minds. You guys are going to be interacting with a lot of different students from different backgrounds. It's a great opportunity to start testing who you are as a person and who other people are, and opening yourself up to that conversation. Um, more materialistically, always bring a piece of home with you. Makes you have, um, make, make, ugh, you can uh, set up your own area, but then you can have that uh, comfort with you as well. Um, always bring a power cord. Those are huge. Uh, quarters, your net, those are going to be your best friends. Um, when you get to campus, your ID is going to be essential because it will have your access to your building and also for your dining. So if you want to eat, you better hang out of this. Even if it is apartment style, meal plans are available. Are there any questions?